Hi, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and possibly a test run of the Shark Rocket. I've been wanting a Shark vacuum for a while. Did not find any that was in my price range. They happen to have this one on sale at Sam's and it says Florida ceiling versatility offers versatile cleaning and power where traditional uprights can't go. Two times capacity as compared to the original Rocket HV300 ultralight upright. It's supposed to have bonus attachments, the hard floor hero hardwood attachment, which we have mostly hardwood in our house other than carpet that I really don't want, but right now we have to live with that. <laughs> um, and then it's got easy under furniture reach, which most of our furniture you really can't get under, like our sofas and stuff. Like you can get under tables and stuff. So anyways, um, and a quick release foot pedal for um, doing like, it comes off like a, a dust buster type situation, I guess you could say. I don't know how to explain it. And it's supposed to be no tip storage, but it's supposed to be really good. It has a duster crevice tool, pet multi tool, because we have multiple pets. Uh, a hard floor hero, which I said that already, and a five year warranty. I actually thought I said two year. So, I'm gonna open it up and show you guys the parts. Oh, questions or problems? Stop, do not return to the store. Okay, we're not worried about all that. Sam says to turn it back to them anyway. But, um, and it's got all kinds of stuff there. It's got the guide. Um, let's see. This is which part is this? The press release for upholstery tool. Oh, this is an upholstery tool. Uh, maybe I should have gotten a knife or something, but I didn't. Oh, it's not that hard to come off. See, it's got brushes. So that's the upholstery tool. There's the release button. Okay. Okay. That was weird. Try not to let it fall. And this is not sure. This scoops down. It's the brush part, I guess, to get up in the corners in the crevice tool for getting around the edges of baseboards and stuff. So that's that. And it's supposed to have onboard um attachment displays too so let's see what else i can get out easily okay this is probably that hardwood the hard floor um hero it may not be we'll find out in just a second if it says it what it is that's the front I'm not sure if this is the hard floor hero or not, but it's got a nozzle release and it's got pretty flexible there and it goes two ways. It actually goes four ways. But anyway, it's got the little release. I think that may be the hard floor hero. If it's not, I will tell you. Okay, then this is the wall mount you can actually mount it to your wall i don't know if we're going to do that but this is the wall mount and you're supposed to just be able to mount it like that and it has the onboard attachment thing right here that i will be putting on it when I ever get to it. I might better open up the instructions. Because um, I might need them. Don't you just love how they have the quick start guides and everything now? Because everything's got to be instant. Okay. I don't know what that part is. Yeah, that's heavy. That is the actual, yeah, this is the hardwood thing. It's gotta be. Because 
This is the main part. It's got a lock and unlock. It says press down front of sole plate to reattach. There's a brush bar. Seems like it's pretty good. It's brush roll cleaning. Lock it in place. It also has um a light on it. It's got headlights. So you can see what you're doing, I guess. But um it seems to pivot pretty good and it locks right there. Then you want to release it. You step on that. And I can't do it with my hand, I guess. Let's see. I don't know. I'll try to do it whenever I have it put together because I'm pretty sure you can't do it with your hand. My hands are weak anyways. Okay. More bar, more cardboard, and more cardboard. Oh, and look at some weird looking cardboard. And the motor. And I think it has a 30 foot cord. Let me see if it says that. I think that's what it says it has. Or maybe I read that online. Because I did do some research about it online before I went and purchased it. But this is the, um, the dust cup. You just release it like that. It's very simple. It has filters. And... Oh, it's already back in there. How about that? It has a light there, too. And let's see. Does it say how long the... And actually, this part stores on to this part somehow. I'm not sure exactly how yet. I'll figure that part out, too. So, I'm going to undo this cord. It's pretty long. I don't know how long. I'll have to figure that out. Because it does say it somewhere. Let's see, it says bare floor area rugs and high pile carpets. Okay, and it's got a monthly, it's got a filter right here that you can just clean. It says clean monthly. It's just a little filter and you can clean it yourself. And it's put first, put in first this side up. Oh, it's another filter. So it's like super filtered, which is good. You could probably put a little bit of essential oil on that and make it smell good, but I don't know. I'm not going to do it unless it says. It's got instructions on how to clean it right there. Now let's see if I can put it back together. I took it apart. Let's see if I can put it back together. Yep, that's easy. Okay. It's really light. It's not heavy at all. Okay. I gotta find the other part. Well, look there. There it is. And there's more cardboard in the bottom of the box, but I'm not taking that out. Because there's no point in that. Okay, and I just scared the cat. So let's see if I can put it together using this quick start guide. But first I want to get all this junk out of the way. Okay, this part I don't need right now. So I'm going to put it over there out of the way. And I'm not going to use this part right now. This is the hardwood stuff. So I'm not gonna try it right this second. So let's see, storage hook is right there. And this is the release one. And it's got the cord thing there. So is it supposed to go in this way? Yes. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Let me fix that. And the floor is disgusting, just saying. All right, put that in just like that, and just clips on. Let me see. And then, it tells you the maintenance and all that stuff. This goes on like so. Oh, you can't see that either. Let me scooch this back up. I'm gonna have to be moving it around a lot. But anyway, I just clip this piece, just clip it on. And then your attachments can just hang up. Probably need it a lot lower, don't I? 
I don't know how low they have. They are about halfway. That's a place for that. That right there. Let me scooch over so you can see it a little bit better. All right. So that's that part. And this releases that. So it's very simple to release it. So that's what that was for. And this just pulls back. Simple. It's got a foot spot here, and then it's got a brush indicator here. And you can't see what I'm talking about. A foot spot over here and a brush indicator here. And it's got edge cleaning too. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot this like this. And all you do is just hook that right there. Now if you wanna take this off, you just release that and you can hook your attachments. Wait, no, you have to hook your attachments because you have to have this part, I believe, hooked up. So how do you hook your attachments to that part? I will have to learn. take this off you hook this to this you leave this hooked up all the time so it can't get as short as I thought and then that's your attachment for that I guess is how that works I'll learn how it works we'll see it doesn't have a place for all of your stuff though I thought it was going to be a place for all of the these types of things but it's only for the one but I'll find somewhere to put that those other things it's only for the crevice tool so I'm gonna plug it up reposition my camera we'll figure out how loud this thing is and how well it works together Okay, it's nowhere near as loud as my old one. It's nowhere near as heavy as my old one, and it's nowhere near as hard to use. It seems like it's picking up pretty good. Like this carpet though is nasty and old, and I clean it with a steam cleaner, and I don't think you can ever clean it. I really don't, but this seems to be doing better than my old one, which my old one's like almost six years old. It's like five and a half years old. But anyway, um, which that shouldn't be that bad of shape but it's in bad shape and we did not abuse it it just was bad I guess anyway it seems to have um it kind of wants to move itself forward it seems like whenever I turned it on it's like it almost wanted to go by itself and I guess that's because of the brushes and but it's really easy to maneuver and I don't know if you guys could see everything because I don't have the camera set in the best spot but um, if you have any questions about it, if I can answer them, I will answer them. But so far, it's really easy to use. It's really easy to set up. And it seems like it's going to be pretty good. I'm going to try it all over the house on the hardwood and everywhere. And remember, we have five dogs inside and a cat plus four humans. So any vacuum that picks up pet hair I love and it seems like it's picking up pretty good um let's see this is gonna be gross but I'm gonna do this anyway this is just that few minutes that is so gross look how much it picked up and I guess you release how do you release this part nope Okay, you pull it. How do you open it? Oh, it's over here. You open it over here to it. Yeah, yeah, no. No, that's not how you do it. That was a com. <coughs> Ew, do this outside. Oh my goodness, look at all that. This is embarrassing, but I'm showing it anyway. And that's not what got on me. That's all the pet hair it picked up in that little bitty spot. I told y'all my other vacuum was garbage. Ew. I gotta go take a bath. I 
already love this thing. I didn't expect it to do like that. I didn't expect that much stuff to come up. Anyway, I'm going to put it back together and vacuum myself and the rest of the house and take about 14 baths. That is so gross. I got my new vacuum dirty. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I think that's the grossest thing I've ever done on here. Remember, don't take any wood nickels and be sweet.